Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio Online. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a basic flowchart and share it with a colleague and see how it interacts when two people are sharing the same diagram. So first of all, I'm going to create a blank flowchart template and then I'll just add a simple shape and then share it to a colleague. So it loads up. These are your shapes, so I'll just put the start shape on there and then it gives me the options to create whatever I need from this start point. But if you want to share it with anybody, you click share and then it will open up and give you the option to search for a name. So if I search for myself and then send, so that will send an invite to share this document with a colleague. So what I need to do now is just bring the other screen on. So I'll come up and bring this up so you can see that. Make that full screen. And then I should get an email coming in with that response. So now you can see the email has come in. So if I click on that, and then you've got a link to open up this. So if I click on that to open it, this is to show me that. Now, if I want to edit this, I need to click on Edit, Edit Diagram in Browser. Then it will open that up in the browser and I will have the same information as before. You can see where Alana is. If I just add a shape like this, a couple of shapes. Now that will also be happening in her copy. So if I come back to her copy and just click away there, you can see what's happening there and I can add things on so I add that on and then that will be coming up in mine just come out the side there and then if I go back into the other copy you can see it says there so it says AS she's just done that and then if I come back and go into Alana's version and add somewhere else That says guest user. So this is now, I'm now logged on as Alana. That's where the me, I am. I'm down as the guest user. Don't know why I'm saying guest. If I come into this and add some more shapes, you can see how that's going to impact. Let's do the finished shape. So I've added two more shapes to this. And again, if I come down and flick over into the other one, back into Alana's copy, as you can see guest user has just added those things in. So whatever we, whichever one of us adds the shape, the other one will see it and you'll also see where the other one is. So you don't, have, you don't duplicate tasks. But this is how you share things in Visio Online to create a diagram. As long as they've got the link, then they can open it and then you can do that. So hopefully this little video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.